Jesus. Como é que eu fiz isso? Ok. Então, eu vou usar essa referência de Zika. Zika é que eu não fiz isso aqui. I don't want that to be too inside. I think something like it should be fine. I think I need to raise this up a bit more. I want to avoid. <laughs> Let me see if I can use the max lasso. I'm going to max out this region like so. so I don't want to accidentally pull, pull this. I just block the max and then see if I can adjust this. Okay, no, let's just, let me just put this out. Something like this looks fine. I've got of symmetry now. She just gently sit on it, which is fine. Then I will isolate these two. I'll mark this. So rather I'll hide those two, then mark this, then invert the marks. And I think I can push this over the marks now. I think I can push. I can push this in. I also need to check how it rests on the body. So I'm going to temporarily hide the shirts, English shirts. You can see how it's kind of entering the body way too much. So I'll just fix this here. Then for this shirt, I need to raise that English shirt out even more. Something like this should be fine. Right. Just making correction then you guys see it. I think this should <coughs> I think this should uh, we have something in here. Okay, that's fine. So I seems to be floating at the back. I need to raise this down, so I'm going to turn on symmetry for this. This should be resting. Should be resting more. 
on the blue on the English shirts. Not completely on the English, not completely those. Means if you have, means you gonna create some gap in between here though. Because this is not a, really, this cloth is not, won't be sticking very close to the body since this is not a tight, fib tight fabric. So you should need to have some kind of floating, a bit of floating around, somewhere around here. Okay. Mm, I think that should be fine. Let me bring in the trousers in here and then make adjustment also for the trousers. So I just need everything to fit. I need an symmetry. I'll put an symmetry for this. And take down the broad size. Just raise this out a bit more. This may be turned off. <clears throat> okay. I think it feels more natural. It feels more natural now. This feels more natural. I think I can work with this. Just see if there's anything else we can we can fix or correct in here before moving on. Okay, we have something in here. You just make sure symmetry is turned off. Put this out. I don't want. I don't want interceptions in there. Okay. Let me work on this. I think I see. Some visible interceptions in here. So I'm going to use the more topological brush for this. That would give us more precise, more more precision to it. I see this piece coming out. I need to push this, let me push this out instead. Let me just isolate this so I can do this more precisely. Push this in for this tape. So this one should go in. Okay. We have something in here also. Otherwise, it's dope in just probably the thickness. I 
think that should probably hide that. Oh, we have something in here also that we need to fix. But before we fixing them, as we go as we move along, so let me do this also. Let me solo this. So I think I'm going to write the shape now. But before I write the shape, let me we just we remove two. I need to push this out. Not pushing out. Okay, that is strange. Okay, okay now. Okay, I'll turn it off now. Then Let's work on this hoodie and then the trousers so we don't have too much intersection. Let me take down the move brush. I'm doing this on symmetry so I can so I can do this a bit faster. Okay. This looks fine. Let me bring back the shirts. We have some visible interceptions in here. Okay. We just compensate for it. Right. So let's start with the let's see. Uh just making sure everything is correct. Let's start with the hoodie. I also need to bring in to plug in this rope in here though. <laughs> 
Let's just oh, isolate the hoodie now. Then for those any particular gaps in there, we just kind of connect push them closer to themselves. So for this, I need to go to a much higher subdivision level. So this one we around three. So I'll be around subdivision level three for this. So I'll do this out of symmetry. So I have, to, I have I have to do the set of symmetry. Not to be doing so much in here though. So but for this part, let's kind of bring them much closer to themselves. Like way more closer to themselves. So to do that, I'm going to. Control select, control select, control shift select the front poly poly group and max this and I invert the max and I invert the max again. And I'm going to use the move brush. With the lower brush size. And just collapse this this way, something like that should be fine. Let me do a quick save. So I'll do the same for the other side. about the selection, the marks and then bring this other side closer just to make them a bit slightly close to themselves that's fine I'm going to do the same in here also alright, that seems fine Same here, but for this I need to at least max out one part. Push this closer, invert the max. Push this closer. I think I like how this seam line is. I won't mess with this too much though. Because from a distance it looks it feels more natural from a distance. Is a bit better on a distance. Is there a way to let me see there's a way to do anything like max okay there's actually max there's actually max border that's cool so you need to do the same thing also for this piece max invert the max this is what I'm doing is an higher subdivision level is because if I do the lower subdivision level, when I kind of add more subdivision subdivision to it, they will most likely shrink back. So doing this on a higher subdivision level makes 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 a better sense so that when you kind of so that so that when you are kind of exporting your final mesh for rendering, at least based on the subdivision level you export, they will still retain that tightness or closeness on the edges. Let me do this lower part also. If I move to the other side, okay. All right. Do this also. I'm 
most of these details won't be very visible in the render, but it's always good to it's always good to fix fix them properly and close any any gap you should be seen in there. Just put this even closer. Alright, so now let's look for the other side. So I'll just change this to the other side. This is the benefit of having UVs on there that we can turn into poly groups. Just tighten this also. Right, then we'll go up. Okay, what else? Just this one, this part sits quite nicely, which is fine. Okay. This is completely fine. Like the way how this turned out. Okay, we're done with this. I'll go to solo mode. Then we go to the shirts, the English shirts. Then we can isolate this. And go to a higher subdivision level. Probably, yeah, somewhere, somewhere around here should be fine. So let's start. Let's start the. Uh, making sure symmetry is not is off in here. Get a closer view on this. We try to reach this end. We got the marks. Close this up. Like so. Yeah, I'm seeing some, seeing some issues here though. We need to push this down. We need to push all of this down. It's just out way too much. Okay. I see you drop in here. Right. I think that is in place. I believe that is in place. So I'm gonna fix one all, all of this side before moving to the other side. 
and that'll be a better that'll be a better way to do it. Anyway it works though. Anyway it works. Push this thing. Let's do this part. And we'll do even more. Just kind of hide that gap under the collar. You're basically trying to hide this gap under the collar. Take down the brush size. Okay. Believe that should work. Mm. Here is some expecting to come up with this. The lower part is fine. Let's see if there's something we can do in here. Probably push this down. Alright. See what I'm done with this side. I believe. I guess not. The yeah, pockets are obviously floating, but before I fix the pocket, let me fix. Let me fix this. Let me just push that closer. More or less like this should be fine. Okay. Time for these pockets. It's completely offset it out. So I think I'll do something like I want to. No, let me use a rectangular max instead. No. Let's see if I can use the lasso to the max lasso to just do, do this quickly. Something like so. Let me do this again and be more precise. I wasn't precise enough. Yeah, that seems fine. Then I'm just going to use the move brush and then push this closer. I think I will need to. I think I will need to. That, that seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. But we need to be more precise with this. So I'm going to use the gizmo. If 
kind of get this in the that I can use my mold brush to make it even more precise. So that seems to be an issue here. So let's kind of make this wrap around this. I think this should be fine. Take down a smooth brush and just smooth this out. Alright, then we we'll kind of do this for I mean, just move this closer. Okay. I need to bring this tightly move <coughs> Slightly closer to the shirt itself. Right. Something wrapped around here should be fine. I think we're done with this side. I think we can safely move to the other side now. Yes, you can move to the other side now. Let's start with this, like a bit for the other side. Let's close that gap completely. Just checking this. Yes, this, this is the part I want to fix.
Alright, I think that should be fine. Let me just make sure there are no interceptions. Yeah, there are not there are no interceptions, which is fine. Yes, carrying on. Just want to make sure I hide this in here. I think I'm raising that up instead of just connecting it back in. Okay. Let's get this up here about the marks somewhere like so it should be fine. I probably will need to let me use the symmetry symmetry for this. Push this down some more. I need to do this in lower subdivision level so I can move this way faster. Even in lower subdivision level, I can still see. I still see some of these gaps which I would like to fix even more. I think I'll need to do that also for the for the other parts too. But it's no issue though, it's something we can easily easily fix as we move along. So I'll probably fast forward this this process onto where where I do something new. But I think for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to be just adjusting only most of these minor minor corrections in here. Still working on the other side though. Just for the sake of just for the sake of making things look very precise. The lower parts is okay, we have something in here though. Though this part is not going to be too visible, but just for the sake of making everything as precise as it can be, we can just fix this up also. Thank you. 
Okay. Yes, the pockets. I think there should be symmetry is done, symmetry on, symmetry is off. Good. I don't, because I don't want to do this with symmetry, symmetry turned on. Let me just select this again. Yeah, let me just let me select this. Now use the gizmo to push that closer first. More or less something like that, something like so. Okay. Then I believe I can use the max last one now. Max somewhere around here. Okay. Then with the move brush, I can move this closer. I need a bit more precision in here. Okay. I need to take this out. Okay, let me just do the inverse instead. Uh, okay. Take down the process in here. We just see who goes up. Yeah, I think it should be fine. This should be roughly. Probably fine. Well, except for in here, except for here, do. Okay. Think you can safely move to the trousers now, I believe. Just go around and check this to be sure if everything's working correctly. Which, for the most part, it is. For the most part, it is. 
Okay. That's nice. I think we can now safely move to the trousers. So we need to subdivide this up a few times. Right. A lot of things to fix though. Let's start from this. Let's start from with this. Oh, there's no poly groups in here. Let's just use auto group to start with. I think I'm going to start from this side instead. Get this down first. Divide the marks and push this down. Try to compensate for this. Need to get this inside, inside, completely close any hole we might be seen in the inside, pretty much. Okay, seem here also. This should be fine. Let's do this. I don't want to push. I want to push, to push this to a bit, kind of raise it a bit higher. I'm going to make just a ton of symmetry for this. I'm going to raise this up like so. See something around here should be fine. Yes, it should be fine. Second ton of symmetry now. And I can work on this as an individual piece.
Okay. I think there's something here with ASN. There's definitely something here we can correct. I'll just push this closer. Even though that is not going to be very visible, but let's just let's just fix that. Okay. Yeah, I think this the gap in here is way too much. So I need to bring that even closer. Yes, you guessed right. We need to bring this closer. <laughs> okay. Think. Think I'll just go around. To push this closer. But the gap, the gap we have is just way too much. See me also. Special of this closer. Okay. Now we'll just tighten this bottom this bottom floor parts. And everything is um, pushing closer. All right. This was still at the back. Let me just keep fixing this. Let's do this piece so I'm going around it. This is not supposed to be, you just need this piece.
Okay. Let's do this around here. So we need to do this for the next piece. Right. Let's do this for this side also. Now this piece Let's just get this in a bit closer, pretty much like so. Then this, no, not this, not this, this piece inwards, even more. And tighten this gap in here. Okay. I need to bring this closer. inwards okay I need to bring this closer Right. Then we can just get this, get this in.
I think this should be the last one. Okay. Alright, the pocket, let's see. Yeah, the pockets definitely need some more. So I'll just bring them much closer. That so should be fine. Yes, think this should be fine. Let me just do a quick save then. I think in the next lesson we can begin to add more intricate or tertiary details and full details on top of this as we, as we please. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.